In this video, we're going to troubleshoot a Toshiba Fire TV that keeps getting frozen on the Fire TV logo. Um, at the very beginning, when you turn it on, it just will just stay frozen at the Toshiba logo. So follow me all the way through the end. I'm pretty confident that I can get you in the right direction. First thing I want you to do while you have it on and it's frozen, what I want you to do is point the remote directly at the TV and you're going to hold down two buttons. You're going to hold down the select button, which is the very center of the little round dot here. You're going to hold that and then the play pause button at the same time. The play pause button, do that with my left thumb and my right thumb or index finger. I want to do the select button. Pause play and select. And then I'm going to get close to the TV and hold it for at least 10 seconds directly towards the TV and if it doesn't work do it again all right if you've tried that go ahead and power down your Toshiba Fire TV and what I want you to do is unplug the TV from the back of the wall so we'll go ahead and unplug it you can unplug it there or you can unplug it directly from the TV right there and what I want you to do is take your remote, make sure that the batteries are working, and point directly at the TV and hold down the power button for a good 30 seconds. And this is doing like a power cycle. Let go, then locate the power button on the Fire TV. And we're going to hold down the power button on the TV for 30 seconds. Let go. Then we're going to plug it back into the wall. And then turn it on and see if that fixes the problem. That should fix the majority of your issues. If it doesn't, it is a possibility that it's the Wi-Fi router trying to connect to your TV. Go ahead and temporarily unplug your router, your Wi-Fi router. And unplug and take out any other wires that's connected to your TV. So if you've got HDMI's or USBs or any other if you have an ethernet port that's got the Wi-Fi that's got the internet take that out and then turn it on if it doesn't persist then you know an issue may be with the device like an Xbox or a PlayStation you have connected to it try a different HDMI more HDMI port and see if that will remedy your problem um, if it's the internet it's the ethernet try just connected directly to your Wi-Fi, but after resetting the, the router, it could fix the problem. Finally, last but not least, it could be an issue where it's not getting enough power. Um, definitely make sure that you don't have it connected to like a USB. Make sure it's, uh, your TV is connected directly to the wall, and double check your power cord. This is a polarized AC cord that I just pulled out of the back. Make sure this is not damaged. If it is, get you another cord. You can get these for less than 10 bucks on Amazon. They're called a polarized AC power cord. You'll see here, it's got, it's, it looks like a figure eight, but it's actually got a square on one end. Okay, replace that and see if that fixes your problem. That could easily be the problem right there. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.